Okay, guys. All right, great. So we are in my computer and I took some notes to break down tracking and to define the query string URL so that you know exactly what you're modifying and why you need to make the changes that are being asked of you. So let's break down the parameters and tokens that you have to utilize in your tracking URLs. So the parameter just describes the type of information. So that's the name of what your token is. So if the event or if the uh, if the click that I would like to get data for is going to be the conversion event or the conversion ID, then I need to tell volume that the CID in volume is the parameter name for the corresponding token for the conversion event, whether it's going to be for the traffic source or the affiliate network, because that token is going to provide that information that I would like to have tracked. So for example, if you're in volume, you'll have the parameter is CID. So that's the name of the token that you would like to have produced in the results. And then the token is going to be in the brackets. Now, what corresponds in your token and I think parameter is gonna be case sensitive. So you have to make sure you get that correctly whenever you retrieve the information from a traffic source or an affiliate network. So that, that leads me you know, into the second point is that there is a corresponding conversion ID or zone ID or address or name or anything. There is a corresponding um, token and parameter for all of the platforms. And then specifically for your offer URL, you have to retrieve the click ID or the conversion ID for the affiliate network and also your tracker. And you have to make sure that those are properly placed inside of the URL so that your conversions are tracked. So I know sometimes it's confusing where, you're, where you may not know where you need to put a specific parameter, where you may need to put a token, and where you need to retrieve it. So before I give you an example so that you can work through that process, let's go ahead and look at what a post back is. It's only relevant because you're using a tracker. You can track your conversions between affiliate network and traffic sources. For example, Propeller Ads has that feature, and that's something that we can explore in a later time. Or even Mobidia, if you add a custom domain into their platform, you can track. That's a common, that's a common feature available. However, if you introduce a tracker, that gives you more optimization options. So that's why you need a global post back because it's a way for the traffic source and the affiliate network to communicate with each other and also with your um, with your tracker so that all of the servers can inform when a conversion is made, okay? So the general global post back that you're going to receive is going to look like this. So this first example that I just highlighted is just a breakdown of what you're looking at whenever you're reading the URL as defined, okay? And then I'll tell you and translate what the example is that you're gonna get from the platform, which is gonna be volume. So whenever volume gives you a global post back, it starts with your custom domain from the tracker right here, and then the directory that it's gonna store the information. And name is pretty much your parameter. That's why I did the definitions in green. So that's gonna be your parameter. And then this is gonna be your token. Now, if you want to add any additional parameters and tokens, you just make sure you add this symbol, and then you type out the new parameter and the new token. That's how you build your URLs, and this is how your global post back will be represented. And sometimes there's even a third parameter and token. So whenever you go into your tracker, whether it's volume, click magic, I think it's a little different for their query strings, or if it's ads bridge or red track, then you're going to get your post back information all the way up to the question mark. And then they're going to give you the conversion ID parameter for their platform. And that's how I like to think of it. You, the parameters that you need to work with, that's going to be from the platform that you're getting the URL from. And then the tokens are going to be the tokens for the platform that you are placing the URL inside of. So I need the tokens for the affiliate network because the global post back is provided to the affiliate network. And so for example, let's, I'll use Mobibium. Um, I'll replace this with their transaction or conversion ID. 
and then I will place this with their payout identification. And then the TX ID is optional. So that means you can track unique conversions. For example, if you have an upsell or multiple conversions, something like that, then you need to, you need to track them. Then you would make sure you add the corresponding token. So that covers your global post back and also that can be considered for your um, post back if you want to do offer specific. You can just do the very same. So I will show you how to edit your post back manually. However, in applications like Volume, if you are building your offer URL, the global post back automatically predefines the tokens that you need for the affiliate network that the offer is coming from. So that's why utilizing um, that their software is good for beginners because it makes sure that all your settings are correct because they're pretty much all automated. So that is the same thing for the offer URL. You're pretty much just reversing, okay? So in the global post back, we're using the parameters for the tracker. In the offer URL, we start with the parameters for the affiliate network. So that's what I mean by it's just in reverse. And then because we're placing the offer URL inside of the tracker, you need to get the token for the tracker. So for volume, as I stated in our example, the token for their conversion ID. So when you get this information, you go to a knowledge base or a wiki for whatever platform you're using and you're going to search for conversion implementation or parameters or something all right that's what they're going to call it it's different for everybody but it, they're going to tell you okay well if you want to track conversions you're going to need this token so therefore that's what I would add in the URL query string so this is going to be like I mentioned we're using Mobibium for an example this is going to be the conversion ID for Mobibium and then right here is going to be the token for volume because I am placing the offer URL inside of the tracker and that's where I would like for the conversions to be tracked. If you have any additional parameters or tokens, then you would just add them at the end. Um, but usually you only should be using your click ID. All right. So just be uh, mindful that parameters can be called things like external IDs, macros, a transaction ID, sub IDs, but just know that that is what they're asking for. So to kind of break this down a little bit further for you guys, now that we've gone over and defined what a parameter and a token is, we have explained that if you're getting a global post back from your tracker, those are the parameters that you need to define and you define them with the tokens from the affiliate network. And then you do something similar for traffic sources and I'll show you the difference later and then as far as the offer URL goes because we're retrieving that from the affiliate network we need to define that for the tracker with the trackering token okay so let's go over the flow and the process and how a tracker works so we know that when you build a campaign you have three main components you have a tracker an affiliate network and a traffic source and then the one thing that pulls everything together is going to be your offer, okay? So the elements that are going to control this entire flow are going to be within your tracker. And your post back URL is going to be how you gather all of that information and communicate between your affiliate network and the traffic source. So when we're using volume, we have a campaign element which will include the offer and the offer URL, the lander, and we're going to enter the a lander URL, which will then produce a click URL. And then we also have to make sure we implement the traffic source and the affiliate network. Now the traffic source will produce its own post back URL so that we can communicate conversions from volume back to the traffic source at the end of the conversion uh, process. And I'll show you exactly how that flows. And if we have any advanced parameters, we retrieve them from the traffic source and enter them into volume for whatever we would like to communicate. And then likewise, we do the very same thing for the affiliate network, but instead the post back URL goes into the affiliate network side. There's nothing to copy and paste into the um, tracker from the affiliate network unless we're only working with the offer. So campaign elements again. You have the campaign, the offer, the lander, the traffic source, and the affiliate network. There's also a way to create a flow. So flows, um, we'll, we'll discuss those in the next topic. So just know that I haven't forgotten that, um, but 
flow is also an additional element that you can use whenever you're tracking your campaigns through your tracker. So just to make sure we understand thoroughly, your affiliate network, the only components that are responsible for that are going to be entering your global post back. You can also enter an offer specific post back after you build your offer URL. That is perfectly fine. You just have to make sure you read the instructions for that uh, network's uh, dashboard and their platform because if you enter an offer specific post back, it is obviously going to override anything global. So you want to make sure you don't have any adverse events occur. And then also, your affiliate network is responsible for modifying your sub IDs so that you can properly track things on the ad level um, if, or if you need to track certain components for your ad sets or what have you in the campaign, you handle all of your sub IDs in the, in the affiliate network. Now, your traffic source. That is where you have your destination URL or your redirect or your outcome. Now usually you would place your affiliate link there if you're not using a tracker. But since we will be using a tracker and because the tracker is responsible for recording all of the clicks from the in the point of origin is going to be from the ad, then you need to make sure you enter your campaign URL for your tracker inside of the destination or the outcome or the redirect inside of the call to action um, that is going to be on the ad okay and then your click URL goes inside the call to action that is going to be in the lander and then traffic source post back URLs are automatically generated and I'll show you how if they're not then you just get them from the wiki and then going forward again you can track your conversions within the traffic sources themselves you just have to implement their own post back URLs and what have you um, they have their own tokens that are required. Like for example, um, we'll sh I'll show you how to do it in like AdMaven. They show you how to implement the post back specifically on their platform if you want to look at it in, in, in their dashboard. So I want to go over, let's scroll down a little bit, tracking in general. So now that we know what a token is, what a parameter is, how the URL looks, uh, what we are retrieving from the tracker, what we are retrieving from the network, and what we are retrieving from the traffic source. So I just want to show you the whole entire flow of things so that you understand when you are man maneuvering through each window for every platform where and why you need to insert each and every URL. So everything starts from the ad and your traffic source and then once the ad is clicked that is going to be your campaign URL which communicates to the tracker. Then your tracker from there and um, if you have a lander it you will activate the click URL if you get a conversion and the click URL it, it is going to end up transferring the I guess lead to the affiliate network okay and that is going to be utilized to the offer URL that you entered into the campaign. Now after it lands in the affiliate network if all goes well then the offer is recorded and transferred and the conversion is tracked and the advertiser will be able to pay you for that lead now if for any reason they back out or if you have a drop off it will happen here but in a perfect case again we start at the ad campaign URL is clicked kicks off and fires a tracker then if we keep the flow going that is where we have the click URL which activates the offer URL and that directs the user or the lead to the affiliate network. If you get a conversion that is tracked and then the advertiser is notified and you're paid for that sale. Now because of that and if everything goes according to plan that conversion gets recorded and the affiliate network is notified. When the affiliate network receives that notification because you've entered a post back URL into the affiliate network, the conversion then gets recorded, documented, and the click ID is transferred to the tracker. So all that information is now placed into your tracker regarding the conversion. However, because you have implemented a post back URL from the traffic source, the last component of this entire flow 
is to record that conversion at the traffic source and make sure that all of your data from the network, the tracker, and the traffic source match up so you can develop a system and find your patterns. That is why you're using a tracker. So we also need to decipher when you're building your campaign whether or not you need to use a redirect tracking method or a direct tracking method. So it really just comes down to if you are using a platform that frowns upon sending users to different locations that are not indicated in the display URL, which would mainly be Google and Facebook. If you are saying that you're sending someone to a, to a web page, the URLs generally have to match. So that is why you would use direct tracking. When you build your campaign, um, and when you enter the direct tracking method, that means that the campaign URL is going to redirect users to your funnel. And it's going to, that funnel URL is going to match the display URL in your ad. So that is why you would use direct tracking. It's going directly to your lander. It's not going to the tracker where you can use multiple landers. It's just one lander, one ad impression, so one conversion event. And that is why you need a pixel because you're not redirecting that click to the tracker. The conversion cannot be directly recorded. Therefore, you have to utilize a pixel so that the visits and clicks and conversions can be recorded. So direct tracking is just what we have to use because we that is what's required to maintain a specific user experience for certain advertising traffic sources and then the pixel for direct tracking is just how we record those conversions that's all it is so redirect tracking gives you more options where you can use multiple landers for multiple offers and you can implement advanced features that can kind of filter out bot clicks like through the honeypot method um, you can rotate landers but again that's not always allowed for multiple traffic sources so that's why you have both options available to you through volume but if you're using redirect tracking you don't need a pixel because everything is going directly to their server they act as the middleman so let me let me just show you a picture from their website to further explain this concept so if you're using a direct tracking method you only have one ad impression and that's it the ad is just showed once okay now you get the click and they go automatically to the landing page that's what Facebook wants they don't want you to send the person anywhere else and then to the offer page alright now in the redirect you can have multiple ads multiple impressions because you're rotating okay and because you're rotating you could redirect this person to one landing page or you could send them to the offer page if you want to test that out you could be doing multiple landing pages before they get to the offer page so that is specifically what redirect does it allows you to rotate and split up multiple offers and landers direct does not so you just have to be familiar with the terms and conditions of the traffic source so that you know when you can and cannot use a particular method and that pretty much is um, also something you would want to be um, mindful of regarding using your landers so if you're using a direct method for tracking it doesn't mean that you always have a landing page either it just means that you can't redirect you can't do rotating so you have to go direct but you can exclude a landing page from this entire equation and just do a direct link from the ad to the offer page that is perfectly fine if the traffic source allows it this isn't limited to just Facebook or Google they're just saying if you 
want to redirect someone to multiple landers and rotate links, you can. It's just if you cannot, you need to use the pixel so we can track those conversions if you're going to use direct tracking. So now I would like to go ahead and show you a few examples. So let me switch over. Okay, so right now we are in volume and I want to show you how to add a traffic source. So that's usually what you would want to do before you build out your campaign. And then you would want to add your affiliate network and then you would want to add your offer. However, you can do all of this within the campaign. That's perfectly fine. But I find it to be more convenient when you can choose everything from the drop down menus, how the platform is designed to allow you to do. So we're going to go to the affiliate networks and we're going to add one. And let's, oh, well, I meant to say traffic source. We'll do either, whatever. I'm already here. So we're going to do Mobifium because I'm using them as an example. So as you can tell, you just have to add whatever you want to add them as for the name. And then if you would like to append the click ID to your offer URL, so that just means that it will be added automatically and passed into the offer URL for you. Totally up to you, but it will probably it should probably just be copy and pasted by you. That will be best just to make sure everything's correct. And then here are going to be the parameter and the token that you would retrieve from the affiliate network and then their payout token because all that information is coming back into into the tracker. So that's why we need to know what the tokens are. Um, and then the parameters and if you would like to verify them then all you would need to do is go into the affiliate dashboard and for them their information is listed under pixel and you will get that information from them directly so now when it reloads you have all your variables right there all right, now, you would just save it. I'm not going to save it because we've I've done this multiple times. So I'm going to close out of here. Now, for the traffic sources, if I want to add propeller ads, you will go to new traffic source. And what you're going to see is that you can choose a template. So we're going to do that because there's no need to do it the old fashioned way manually. And then as you can see, Propeller Ads has their own traffic source post back URL. So that is so we can communicate conversions between the tracker and them. So in order to complete that, we have to get information from their side. So we go to tracking. They give us the post back URL that they want us to use in the tracker. We copy it and paste it into our tracker because as you can see, we have to replace some information and that information is, re is retrieved from Propeller Ads. So now I'm going to head and replace it with my information and there you go. So the conversions will be tracked correctly and these are going to be all of the parameters and the tokens. So. Whenever you're asked to provide an external ID, because there are some smart links that you may need to build that would require a, a post back for an external ID, you just make sure you get the required token. Um, so for, for volume, it would be click ID because the external ID is just pretty much going to be the transaction ID. So what Propeller Ads is saying is that their transaction ID would be the parameter of visitor and then sub ID. So we can track everything. Usually the first row is all you usually need for your parameters and tokens to fill things out for the conversion events. So then you would just save this. Oh, but I'm not going to save it because we already have it. So yeah, that's it. And then we would add the offer. So if I add the offer, I would just get the offer URL from the affiliate network.
And then you have to append your click ID to it. So usually you would just copy this into the lander if that's all you want to track, right? But because we're using volume, we have to add it to volume. So I would create a new offer, name it pull the affiliate network because that is how we are going to get our parameter and token. So now you need to add that. So you would just copy it from here and that's coming from the template that you just saved. And that completes your offer URL. So this is going to be the, the transaction or the conversion parameter and here's your token and that's the token for volume. Now this is what I meant by your post back URL being predefined. After you do so this is going to be the URL for volume, the directory, and here you go with the parameter for volume and the token for Mobipium. Parameter for volume token for Mobipium and this is optional. So I would actually copy that because I would want to put that into the affiliate network to track my conversions. And then you would save that, okay? So I'm not going to save it because I've already done that. Now, we have added our post back URL into volume, but we need to we need to check it, okay? Now, in order to check it, they want to know what the target URL is. So that's another word to describe destination URL, all right? So that means we have to create a campaign. So I'm gonna do that with you now. Now we're gonna put all the elements together. So when you create your campaign, you do simple. The traffic source is gonna be propeller ads. We've already added them. You would choose your country tag and then you would name your campaign. All right, you would choose your cost model. And then this is the flow that I mentioned, but we don't have one. All right, so direct linking, um, we are going to do that. Now direct linking took the, li took the lander out, okay? Now this isn't direct tracking, this is linking. So I'm taking out the lander. And then I'm going to add an offer. And then it's done, okay? So then we were copy. And then they just want to check to make sure I got it right. Okay? And as long as you follow your templates, you should be good. It should copy all of the information because as you can see, it's very long, all right? They, they are tracking a lot of information. Okay, so that takes care of the tracking walkthrough for today. And if you have any other questions, make sure you join us in the Facebook group. And also, join us in the AFK forum. We're probably going to do a follow along now that we've gone through tracking and make sure we covered the basics for you guys so that now we can further optimize and look at the data. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and like this channel. And before I let you guys go, let me just give you a quick reminder. Are you struggling with your affiliate marketing business or want to take things to the next level? Allow me to introduce you to Dice University. Dice University is the number one affiliate marketing training platform in the world. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced affiliate marketer, Dice University offers you thousands of different videos with topics such as Facebook, volume, adplexity, and many more of your favorite topics. Step by step, you will learn the secret super affiliate ways to get the most out of each traffic source. Dominate each vertical with our detailed quick start guides. Are you ready to get started? Click the link in the description to sign up today.